Brace for a thrilling journey through India's corporate realm. Top companies are set for major financial unveilings that could reshape investments. Join us at Corporate Actions India as we explore the exciting updates keeping investors on the edge of their seats. Let's dive into the financial prelude before the big reveal. Nestle has undergone a stock split, rendering its shares more appealing to retail investors. This shift in dynamics aims to enhance market presence and engage a broader investor base. Tata Technologies faced a downturn on the 10th of January, with its stock price experiencing a minus 0.43% decrease. Investors are advised to closely monitor the company's stock price in the upcoming days and weeks, analyzing its response to the latest market developments. Zimphosis gears up for its Q3 earnings. Concerns arise over a potential revenue decline due to higher furloughs. Investors and industry watchers eagerly await the official results to gauge the impact on Infosys financial standing. Pavankara celebrates a significant achievement in Q3, as real estate customer collections reach an all-time high. This positive performance has propelled the company's shares to a remarkable 16-year peak, marking a notable milestone in its financial journey. As a wave of positivity surrounds Cochin Shipyard as its shares experience an 8% surge following a stock split. This strategic move has proven to be a charm for the company, contributing to increased market value and investor confidence. Manapuram Finance faces a setback as SEBI puts the IPO of its subsidiary, a severed microfinance, in abeyance. This development has led to a notable dip of over 7% in Manapuram Finance's stock, prompting investors to closely monitor the unfolding situation. Vedanta Resources initiates a significant financial restructuring with a liability management exercise, aimed at reorganizing repayments of approximately $3.8 billion on bonds maturing over the next three years. This move follows the successful securing of funds from a bank and private credit funds. However, Vedanta shares experience a 3% fall in response to a recent Moody's downgrade, adding an element of financial intrigue to its ongoing narrative. Brace yourselves for a surprise as Tube Investments hints at an interim dividend declaration on the 1st of February. The intrigue deepens as KPIT Technologies considers breaking the norm with a mysterious interim dividend declaration on the 30th of January, the record date, to be revealed separately. What's brewing at Sona BLW? Find out on the 23rd of January as they unveil plans for an interim dividend that promises to keep investors guessing. A date with financial excitement awaits on the 20th of January as Kowal and Clothing explores the possibility of a game-changing interim dividend. The stage is set for a dramatic turn on the 23rd of January as Tandler Platforms discusses and approves the payment of an interim dividend that could send shockwaves through the investor community. Mark your calendars for the 20th of January as Gothi Plaskin gears up to declare an interim dividend. But the real twist? The record date is set for the 30th of January, 2024. Creating a buzz of anticipation. Hold your breath as Choice International tantalizingly hints at a proposal to declare bonus shares on the 15th of January, setting the stage for potential market ripples. Get ready for a bonus bonanza. Aksha Spintex plans a record date on the 5th of February for issuing bonus shares in the enticing ratio of 1 is to 5. Mystery surrounds Tiger Logistics as they prepare for a stock split from 10 rupees to 1 rupees. When will this financial thriller unfold? 
Stay tuned for the record date to be intimated in due course. Investors, be part of the action. Elegant Marbles and Granny Industries launches a buyback through a tender offer from the 11th of January to the 17th of January. The buyback record date is the 5th of January, 2024, a date that could redefine market dynamics. A suspenseful meeting on the 17th of January will reveal the issue price, record date, and the number of shares on rights basis regarding the rights issue. The anticipation is palpable. The 12th of January, 2024, is the record date to watch as Sri Ajit Pulp and Paper unveils plans for a rights issue, including the issue price and record date. The plot thickens. In a bold move, ISMT seeks NCLT amendments for a merger with Kurnuska Ferris Industries Limited, and the share exchange ratio of 17 is to 100. Hold your stocks tight, this could be a game changer. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like, subscribe, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Share and comment your thoughts on the comment section. And stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.